There you go. Bob's on. Bob's on. What do you got? Wait, wait, wait. Is that a trout? It's a trout. You want the net? There you go. He's in the boat. Trout. Aha! Yes, sir. That's our target species, man. We are looking for trout right here. Boom. That was a, uh, one of those. Is that a Fred? Oh, no. No, that one there is like a penny colored. Uh, yeah, I don't think so. No, he's, he's a little shy. We'll let him go. Holy moly, guys. Welcome back to the channel. Guys, it is 4.18 a.m. 4.18. 4.18 a.m. We're going to Mosquito Lagoon. We're going after big tarpon. I want to catch a tarpon, maybe snook, maybe redfish. We have, like I always say, we don't know because it's fishing, but our main target is tarpon. We're going after the elusive tarpon. So hopefully we catch him. I'm heading out with my buddy Bob, who makes uh, fishing rods. His name's Bob Brownell. And we're going at a Mosquito Lagoon. We're going with Captain Frank on shallow minded fishing charters. I'll put a link in the description below if you want to hook up and uh, if you like what you see in this video, check uh, Captain Frank out. But guys, 418, I've had very little sleep. It's going to be worth it. Let's go. Hey Bob, good morning. Good morning. What boat ramp is this? It's the Edgewater boat ramp. Edgewater boat ramp, okay. This is a 17 foot fishing boat here. A little scout. Doing it. We're going. This beautiful morning. There's a lizard right there just floating on the water. He's not gonna last long. Woo! How big are these tarpon? Uh, anywhere between 20 and 120. Okay, pounds. So we're looking at like four and five foot. 40, 50 pounds. Okay. Cool, man. And it blew up right there. Yeah, he's, he just threw it right on its back. It's not the blow up. It's more like a. Yeah, bait coming up. Yeah, it's just it's just spooking stuff up to the surface. Yep. There's tarpon. There's tarpon all around us. How do you get him interested in this thing? It's just a slow roll. Just a slowly moving. Quarter ounce jig head, huh? I've got this weedless set up, but it's a quarter ounce on it. It's, it's heavy line. You need a little extra. And plus, it's probably 12 feet deep here. Yeah, you want to get it. No. Yeah, I mean, I got 40 pound fluorocarbon on 30 pound braid on both these reels. I don't know if I have enough leader on this. What kind of drag do you want on this thing? Pretty loose, huh? I said mine pretty tight. Tight? Yeah. So you can get that hook set? Just in case you can. Yeah, because. <laughs> have you ever felt a tarpon's mouth? Just once. They are like bone. Yeah only three spots you can hook them in each corner and right in the lip right in the butt they call it whoa there we go he's on captain frank's on let me get mine out of the way <laughs> get him get him frank is it a tarpon i don't know i don't think so. no he's not jumping <laughs> Usually when you first see if we can, them, they come see if we can double up. Air. Good size fish, whatever it is. Good oh, size fish, yeah. Yep, I'm getting hit. I'm getting hit. 
I'm getting hit. Do we have a net? We don't need a net. It's under the back. Oh, it's the back. Oh. <laughs> the biggest catfish in the world. Is it a cat? <laughs> oh, wow. Look at the size of that. That's a sail cat. Yeah. <laughs> That's a big catfish, dude. That is, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's a big catfish. Not the target species, guys, but I tell you what, if you're gonna catch a sail cat, this is the size you want. Look, yeah, that's a that's a big one. <laughs> Were you bumping him off the bottom? No, I was. He was probably what well, was feeding on top. <sighs> He's stuck. He's stuck. Teamwork. I've been slimed. <laughs> yeah, time, time to throw your leader away. Throw the whole thing. Oh, that's a big tarpon right there. That was a big one. I hope I got that on camera. Holy cow. You sure that wasn't a dolphin? Holy crap. Huh? That was a dolphin. That, are you sure? Yeah. It had that like long... I don't know. I barely saw it, it though. Like the, the Is that what it was? It was like shredded? That's definitely a dolphin. God, he is, he's been cut up. Well, if I've learned anything about throwing my bait towards a dolphin, it ain't gonna work. God, the mouth on that catfish, man. Wasn't that, that was a, that was a monster mouth. It's like a Muppet. <laughs> Well, just caught, we just caught possible tarpon bait right here. This little uh, ladyfish is not too ladylike, it, apparently. <laughs> oh, broke my tail off. Okay. There we go. Let's get that target species now. We need some live bait. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh let's go that way. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah, he's he, that bait is sitting in Tarpon Alley. Come on, baby. We're using a 5 aught circle hook through the nose of a ladyfish with 30-pound braid and 40-pound fluorocarbon leader. There's, there's Tarpon rolling. One just rolled right there. Yeah, scare the Tarpon this way. Come on. Right by the boat, it's going to pop up. Watch. I'm gonna go ahead and get this guy ready. Right there. <laughs> got me too, Mike. <laughs> he is mangled. Do you see his fin? Yeah, oh my so gosh. He's in rough shape. Yeah. Barber. His barber went too close. So here's the update for you YouTubers here. We've got porpoise. We've got about two catfish three or four ladyfish and we got one ladyfish tied on right now as live bait trying to entice a tarpon to to hit let me get this i got a curly tail tied on and i've got a curly tail tied on because i'm trying to get more ladyfish for bait yep there's tarpon rolling right in front of my rod right there we noticed that the tarpon are going after ladyfish, so we're trying to match the hatch with the bait. I can't get that far. Man, there's tarpon all over the place. Why won't they eat? Come on, Snook. Come on, tarpon. The rod I'm using now is one of the rods Bob built. He calls it Black Beauty. <laughs> And I'm using this as my tarpon rod. I've got 40 pound leader with 30 pound braid and I'm slinging out fish bites, paddle tails, uh, butt kickers. Not seeing any shoulders. Back there, Bob. Oh yeah, there it is. Oh, whoa. <laughs> Hello. 
Was that a manatee or is that a big tarpon? I don't know. I didn't get to see it. I just heard it. Yeah. Doesn't smell like a manatee. I'm going to say tarpon. That's a manatee. Yeah, he's gotten his. No, that's a catfish, I think. Hey! Now I'm in the negative. That's a hardhead catfish, too. Does that mean I can win without catching anything? <laughs> uh, win without catching anything? <laughs> here, come here. Just touch this real quick. You'll lose her. Oh, See you. that bad luck on me. Ah, dang. What's the trash can slam? A stingray? Or no? Uh, uh, it's a lady. Ladyfish, catfish. A jack, maybe? Jack, yeah. I love jack. I smoked some last year, and that was one of the best fish that I made. Oh, got another one. Or something. <gasps> what is this? A, tr a stick? Uh, no, it's like a oyster, I think. There. <gasps> oh, I'm so sorry. It, it spit it. <laughs> the oysters. <laughs> the oysters spit it. Ooh, ooh, there's fish right in there. Let's go. That's definitely flashing right here. We're already at negative two because we didn't keep it as bait. It can't, you know, it, it's not negative if you keep the lady as bait. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because you can turn that into a function. Especially with the smaller ones like that. Maybe the last of the outgoing will just be fire. Oop, Cap Frank's on. Again. Hey, what are you doing with the boat? Oh, there we go. Oh, poor man's tarpon. Oh. Oh, poor man's tarpon. Oh. oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. Tarpon. Oh. As soon as I set it down. As soon as you set it down. I seen that. Okay. One. They got rid of my negative 10 on the catfish. Yeah, I guess you went on that one. Hey, did you see the jump? Holy crap. Did you see it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's we, a good size one. Tarpon jump. Is, is the bait still on? Yeah. Yeah, there you go. There we go. Tarpon. Whoa! Oh, flip the bait out. <laughs> Do you still have him on? No. No. There we go. That was a good one. There we go. <laughs> There we go. That was a tarp. Oh, shoot. Oh, man. All right. Let's go get another lady. Let's go get another ladyfish. Nice. How's your leader? Let's see. Uh, is it frayed up? Right there. Oh, yeah. 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 She's frayed up. We got to change that, too. We'll grab another rod. <laughs> Dang, that was cool. We finally got it. At least yeah, got a I jump. Got a jump yeah. yeah. Nice that job. Was, nice that job. Was a sweet deal on that jump. jump. I saw it first. Target it species. Up, and then the second time it jumped up, I mean, it was walking. Yeah. It was flying out of there. Oh, man. Let, we got to bring them to the boat, guys. Come on. <laughs> Yeah, that's cool. Hey, that was on my ladyfish, so that means that's half of my catch, right? Uh, or half of my uh, hookup. Yeah, you get half credit. Yeah! That catfish is wiped out now. That's what we want, man. That's what we want right there. Came out here for tarpon. We got one hookup so far. Maybe we need a bigger hook. Get some bait next time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we had some croakers. Yeah. Hey, let's go. You think we can go run real quick and get those ladyfish again? Yeah. We're we catching all those on in just about anything, weren't we? I, I caught it on a paddle tail or a curly tail, the last one. Yeah. Same as yeah, right. that ladyfish. I saw it, the ladyfish separate from the mouth. Yeah, I know. Fit. Wasn't that cool? Yes, Did it you, was. you think you got that on the I boat? don't know. That's the problem with GoPros. It's like if it's that was pretty far away for yeah. a GoPro, you know? 
But if we had our iPhones out, we could zoom in. Right. But I think I think we got some of it. That'd be cool. All right, so I'm actively fishing using a uh, fish bites curly tail, trying to get a ladyfish for bait for tarpon. That's what I'm doing right this moment. Wow, right here. Hey, what's going on? Air show, big time. That's cool. Maybe he just brought us some good luck. Let's catch this ladyfish. See him going straight ahead? Captain Frank is trying to cast net on some of these mullet here. Tarpon love mullet. It's a great bait. I know they're hauling extreme butt. Oh, maybe. Yeah, yeah. There it is. We got a bait. All right. Now we can go tarpon fishing. Woo! Nice job, Captain Frank. And they got good size ones. Yeah. All right. We got some live mullet. These are going to be our new tarpon bait. Good size mullet too. Those are perfect, perfect size. I mean, even a little bigger would be better, but this is like perfect, really, for the size tarpon we're going after. A couple dozen a year. Really? Oh, really? Yeah. Is that by choice or is that like a just people? No, uh, that's just about how it goes. I don't advertise or nothing. Third year, I was doing pretty good at it. I need this one. There we go, fish on. I'm not sure what I got, but it's swimming to us fast. Must be a catfish. Right. It's a whiting. Oh, it's a whiting. Those are bait. Yeah, we got to sell some. Yeah. Are you even rolling? <laughs> I am rolling. Yeah. A whiting on a paddle tail. Fish bites paddle tail. <laughs> we definitely see tarpon. This, this is our, you know, they're rolling all around. They're just not committing to anything we're throwing at them. Yeah. But I don't think they're committing to anything that's around them either. Yeah, they're just coming up and rolling fast. Yeah, they're just like hanging out with us, like open air and checking things out. They're scoping out the area, like. Okay, we could barely okay. get the cameras rolling, but I'm hooked on to something huge. I mean, it has been pulling drag for like maybe 30 seconds, just kept straight. Yeah, I'm looking at it. Okay, and when it goes dark, you can tap it with your finger. Oh, it broke off. Oh. Dad. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll never know what that was. Never. <laughs> hey guys, thanks for coming on the adventure with us. Man, that was fun. Thanks, Captain Frank. Frank with Shallow Minded Fishing Charters. How can they get a hold of you? Uh, my number is 386. 690-4761. You have email? And I'm in uh, Edgewater, Florida. Email is C-A-P-T Frank B, Cap Frank B at Hotmail. Oh, CaptainFrankB.com? Yeah. All right. And this is, they're, they're both brothers. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I think he was adopted or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. So Bob Brownell, I'm the one who makes the rods. Uh, contact me Bob Brownell 50 at gmail if you want a custom rod to talk about rod building and stuff and and those are all the rods we use today we're all all the rods he makes too there's a couple St. Croix thrown in there right yeah, yeah. yeah but uh, yeah he, he didn't make those but yeah all the other ones I think the tarpon one was wasn't it or then no that was your St. Croix yeah yeah that was your St. Croix yeah the big one you hooked on to 
Yeah, that was Black your, Beauty. Uh, Black that, Beauty, yeah. Yeah, Black Beauty was uh, doing pretty good. So had a great time, Frank, as yeah. always. Just, yeah. I love fishing with my brother. Don't forget to subscribe, guys. Thanks for coming on the adventure, as we said. And uh, if you have any questions or anything, leave a comment below. I'll answer you. And guys, keep it reeling. Thanks for the fun time. That was a great trip. I, I had a good it time. Was fun, yeah. All right. My brothers. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, see you guys. That was cool. Sail, sail away, sail away with me, sail.